Milledgeville has a lot of good stories, but not all of them end well. My name is Bob Wilson. Uh, I am now a professor emeritus of history. Uh, I came here in 1987 and taught for 28 years before I retired last September. And my area is early American history, but I've also taught courses on Milledgeville and Baldwin County, sort of local history courses. Uh, there were two women who came down to Milledgeville in the late 1850s, two sisters. Their name was Lindrum. But they ended up becoming seamstresses and they worked in, in dress, dressing and fabrics and that kind of thing. They ended up opening up their own shop downtown. It was called the Lindrum Sisters Store. They had a niece who came and joined them. Um, and the niece was in her 20s, very pretty girl. Uh, she ended up marrying a local boy named Sanford. And the two of them, they had a little girl named Katie. Sadly, her mother died when she was not quite three years old. But the little girl spent most of her time with her great aunts, the ones that lived here and had the dress shop. Everybody knew little Katie. She got the croup, which is kind of like whooping cough, only worse. And sadly, it, little Katie died from the croup. The great aunts were so upset, they sold this place and moved back up to upstate New York in, in 1881. What happened was this. There was a man named Sam Walker who came down from Putnam County after the Civil War. And he purchased that house. It was actually an 1820s house. It's much older than it looks. Now, Sam had a son, Joel, J-O-E-L, who was a freshman at Mercer. Uh, and he came back from Mercer sick because they'd had an outbreak of, uh, it seems to have been meningitis. And finally, one night, he appeared at the head of the, the stairs in the house, which you may, which of course you know, and fell down the stairs to his death. Molly was his third wife. Uh, Sam went through wives like uh, frequently. Um, and, and the old story is each time he got richer and richer when one of them died. Uh, and so Molly was the mother of a, a young girl that he also had. And uh, uh, Molly was a, a good wife, but she also died in this epidemic. We always focus on Joel, but the mother and the daughter also passed away. I haven't had any personal run-ins, but I do know a resident who lives here who has. My most creepy run-in that I've had here was actually when I was packing to go home for one weekend. I was drinking an apple juice, just casually, out of like the little mini bottles that they have and I set it on a coffee table. And so right after that, um, my roommate called me and she's like, hey, come downstairs for like 30 seconds and help me bring something upstairs. So I was like, okay, I run downstairs. I leave the door unlocked, but it's like closed. I walk back upstairs literally 30 seconds later. And then I walk by the coffee table and I'm like, oh, I need to throw the apple juice bottle away before I leave. And I turn around, I look at it and it was completely flipped upside down, like balancing on the cap. 